All right, this is a foot that was discovered by Tish uh, Egerton. And you see here, I'm going to stop it right here. Well, obviously you can see it's a foot. Now, you notice over here, that section is missing. That's where your uh, fibula is. And that fall, the fibula, that falls off the side because it's anchored to really nothing. And mine, I have one of these as well. And mine did the exact same thing. Mine appears to be in a shoe of some form. I'll show you that in a second. And I am going to do an autopsy on it today. I'm going to try to do some work on it so we can see what's inside of it. But now I'm going to show you something on here. These, both of the feet that, uh, that I have here, are, are hers and mine, are very, very deep and thick and blocky and a huge, enormous, exaggerated arch. Now, let me show you where she turns it over. Here she goes. Alright. Look at this. That's a, that arch is, is enormous. It's like a platform <laughs> shoe or something. I mean, look at that. Now watch when she turns it over. Now this is all fleshy eroded um, that's as organic as you get that is blood and uh, and that's just about it now there's a pad on your foot too that is right here and I have one on the one that I have here it's exact same place you see you see it you see what I have <laughs> same thing and down in here and this look at mine same thing same exact same thing, and the and the tibia or the fibula falls right off the side. Hmm? I got the same thing underneath too. Now this has this this pattern here. You see this circular pattern? Hope you can see that. Let's see if I can get like the right kind of. You need the right kind of uh, shadowy effect on there, and then you can see it. But it's a circle. And then there's all these pegs around it, and that's where your tendons come up and lock in. But look at this. Now, mine has this effect. Now, I don't know what the heck that is, but it's got like a circle on the end, you see? And, and, it's, all, and it's all fabric-y. It's, the whole thing it looks like, I thought, I thought it was a shoe. And I just don't know. Maybe they just got these big blocky feet. I have no clue. At this point, I am confused. But I'm going to do a, a, a video. Uh, well, I'm going to do some grinding on it and some polishing and we'll see what we see inside of it. I mean, I know already know what's in there, but I don't really, this is confusing. This is why this should be looked at by universities and things. I mean, this is our history. And they, they're refusing to look at this because it really shows that uh, evolution probably is not what you're thinking it is. Now, you see that? Look at that. <laughs> you see that? I have the exact, see, that's what I'm talking about, this circle. And it, it has a tag in the center and has all these things. And I have a footprint here, too. Look at this. I have a footprint that has that exact same thing. Hold on. And this is all in Triassic rock. There it is right here. See this? Look. You see it? <laughs> and that's a footprint. Now, that's in Triassic rock. And the reason I say it's Triassic is because this gray shale was pushed down through a red bed which surrounded this. So the red bed and the gray shale was wet at the same time. And here is the red bed. And it is red. And it is the bed. And it was right here. And the guy came running along. Here, let me back out of here a little bit. The guy came running along and stepped down on that and pushed that gray shale, which is right here. You can see the gray shale through this. See, that's a gray shale right there. So he stepped on it, and it was the gray shale, and its plug went right down through the red bed, because there, here's the gray shale here. There's still the red bed. See, it's all the way around it. So he pushed this whole lump right down through, and uh, and it and it's solid. And it turned solid like this, and that's what, how I found it. And uh, and it's no question it's a human footprint. And you can see the damn thing is look. You can see this thing right here. There is absolutely no question about the architecture of this, and there is no question about the architecture of that thing right up there. That is uh, that same thing. And if you can't see that, all I can say is lens crafters. All right, here's what I'm going to be doing. You see these discs here? These different discs. You put them. You you put them on this. They stick right on like that, and they, they have um, diamonds in them, and there's uh, different grits, and sooner or later you get down to the fine one. So what I'm going to do is take that foot, which is uh, over here, 
and I'm going to grind this down. I'm going to try to cut this down to where we can see what the heel looks like and so forth. But um, if you look at it, I, well, I, I've got I've got a couple of videos about this on the on the uh, uh, on my university channel. But the bottom, I mean, it's it's just what it is. I mean, I don't know what to say. These things were a lot more around than everybody thought, and I mean everything was different than they're saying. Look at this, that's a that's a bird, a, a, a goose, and I don't know if you can see the feather pattern. Let me see. I think I can get it so you can see it. Man. Get over here. Now. You see the feathers in his head? See the feathers there? It comes right up to his little beak, the eyes in there, and everything. You can see the eyeball and the whole thing. And that's his neck, and you can see the neck right there in the middle, and the top is the bone. You see it? And there's his throat right there. That's a duck, or a goose. Maybe, maybe it's a goosey duck. I have no clue what it is. But it is some t time type of a bird with feathers on it. So, now, you know, the things you're saying just aren't right. And they really got to take a look at this stuff. It's just uh, kind of uh, upsetting to think that we're living our life in, in, um, in total fantasy, really. And, oh, by the way, uh, stick around later because uh, there'll be another one coming up about layered intrusions. You see this here? This, 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 you see these things? That, that's, um, that's muscle. That's not a, like a sedimentary rock here. Look. You see that? It's muscle, and it's what they call, in the gigantic forms, it's called layered intrusions. Like, this is different than the, all of that stuff, and then oh, there's a layer of red goopy stuff in the bottom here. You see? You see? That's what they call layered intrusions. Intrusions means it's not supposed to be there. Layered means it's muscle. It's body parts, it's fibers, and an intrusion means it's not supposed to be there, and they are gigantic because the giants were gigantic, and that's just all there is to it. And oh, one last thing, and I'm out of here to go do my autopsy. This, uh, you saw the footprint. This was the thing, the top of the footprint. You have that same, well, obviously, it's because it stuck over the top of it, and this is what's called the black cap. You see that? It's black. And that's the cap that was on there. That's the Triassic footprint. And this leads us to the fact that this was pushed down through that red bed, the gray clay, all in the same day, literally, because they were both wet at the same time. So they're talking 50 million years, eh, maybe, but this happened in one day. All right, one last thing is this, the, the bone, whoops. You see the bone right there, that round little spot and the little black dots to the side? That's where the bone is that I'm going to be also trying to cut into. Uh, oh. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So that's the heel. You can, see the, and you, you can see the heel already, but I need to get it so that it looks, you know, really, really odd. Well, it's pretty obvious now. <laughs> but anyway, um, the bone going down in the bone black and all that business. Okay, here's where you're going to find this information on, on Facebook. It's Mud Fossils Original Research Group. And we also have Science Theory Challenge. And that's Accelerated Light, by the way. And we're getting a lot of people coming up there now. Uh, and then we also have um, Mud Fossil University. Now that is on YouTube. And there's a ton of stuff. And it's all the different research. It includes physics and space and uh, meteors and comets and planetary formation and uh, history and uh, mythology and religion and uh, there's not a single untouched subject all right now i, I want to tell you about a little bit about tish hold on a second by the way tish is a um, a, a mineral dealer and uh, you know we all have to make a living so if you have any mineral needs uh, maybe you can contact her it's called optical awakenings and uh, from what I've seen she has some magnificent things and I mean from, from the foot I am literally blown away so you know just to pass it on uh, you know give her a little shout out there and uh, very very thankful Tish for your um, 
sharing your information like that. You know, this is what it's all about. And, you know, I, I'm sorry to keep going after academia, but, you know, for them, they find something like that, they hide it. And they, they don't let anybody know about it until they come up with a, a whole bunch of papers about 20 years from now. The best way to do this is to share things. I, we, 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 we're coming to breakthroughs with this stuff by sharing. So that's all I have to say. I mean, I'm going to stop yelling, but somebody's got to pay attention sooner or later. This is really, really, really frustrating.